But let's talk about the weather because that's you want me to be the doom and gloom. I was about to say it's not, <laughs> not much, much better. better. It's just that hot outside. First alert meteorologist Patrick Pete and the team have been warning us about these first alert weather days pretty much all week. Yeah, we got a taste of it this afternoon. Oh uh, yeah. When I walked into the office, man, it was burning up out there. In that the parking lot is hot. Yes. Hot 95 today uh, was the high and we're expecting to be hotter as we head into the day tomorrow. Some of the hottest weather of the year over the course of the next two days. That's going to include the mornings and the afternoons. I know a lot of our focus is always on that afternoon high, but when the morning only falls to the mid to upper 70s, your AC is working all night and doesn't really get a break. You'll see that reflected in next month's water electric bill. The heat index will also be a factor as we head through the weekend. It will feel like the triple digits at times, especially Saturday and Sunday afternoons. The temperatures a little bit warmer than we were yesterday at this hour, 87 degrees, uh, humidity at 46%. So it is definitely out there, expecting that to gradually increase over the course of the next couple of days. I mentioned temperatures falling into the mid 70s. We're at 76 here in Atlanta. Low to mid 70s once you leave the perimeter, those numbers will be very close to setting a record morning temperature record as well. So something we're watching a lot of sunshine to kickstart your Saturday morning heating of the day. We do expect it to look a little different tomorrow. Models have been trying to throw some moisture away the last few days and now they're getting a little bit more bullish. So we do think we'll get some pop up showers and thunderstorms uh, late tomorrow afternoon into the early evening. They should fizzle out the closer we get to midnight and that will not impact our warm up because we're still going to get into the mid 90s at least. A lot of locations are going to get into the upper 90s as we push into the afternoon. And it's going to be hot all day. 82 degrees at 9 o'clock, climbing to 90 at lunchtime, and then hanging out in the mid 90s for the bulk of the afternoon. If you're going in tomorrow night to check out 21 Savage out at Lakewood Amphitheater, it is going to be warm. Those showers and thunderstorms should gradually diminish the later we get into the evening. But temperatures only fall into the late uh, low 80s at 11 o'clock. So it's going to be warm all night long. We'll repeat this cycle as we head into your Sunday, starting off with temperatures in the low to mid 70s in the morning. We'll quickly climb up to the mid to upper 80s at lunchtime and then another afternoon where showers and thunderstorms will bubble up. We expect those to be isolated. We do think the models are being a little bit bullish on this Sunday projection. We're keeping the rain chance at about 20% trending cooler and drier as we head through the overnight hours, but the humidity will still be with us. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, our first alert weather days, we Will feel like triple digits, but I'm watching Monday because temperatures drop a little bit, but the dew points come up, so it is still going to feel very soupy on Monday as you head to work. Feels like temperatures in the upper 90s, and then we'll gradually see those numbers come down. Rain chances are very isolated the next few days. I think we trend a little bit drier by Tuesday. Temperatures fall, but we only fall to the low 90s, so that heat wave will continue into the week. 93 degrees by next Friday, and I extended out that forecast on our first alert weather app. Give you day eight, nine and ten. Looks like maybe by day 10 we'll finally dip into the upper 80s. Check that forecast out on the first alert weather app. Meanwhile, forecast for today was 94. We hit 95. That gave us another $50 for aid Atlanta.